In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a simple blitzing concept. This is post-patch. This is a concept that you can use um, really from any formation, but I think it works really, really well from a 3-4 bear. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my YouTube channel is designed to give you tips and tactics and strategies that you can use in your game plan to be able to improve and win more games in Madden 21. And so um, if you're looking to get better, if you're looking to improve in the game, one of the things that I want to encourage you to do right now is to go ahead and click subscribe at the bottom right. And I think there is also a way that you can turn on notifications. That way you can be notified every time we upload a video. Again, I upload four times a day here on my YouTube channel, uh, consistent content, and then I all uh, and it's all tips based. Um, and then I also uh, live stream every single night right here on my YouTube channel. So um, the patches change blitzes. And so we are going to jump right in here. So 3-4 bear, uh, this is a blitzing concept. I think you're going to see a lot more from a lot of different people. Um, but I feel like we had talked about this months, uh, about a month ago, right when the game first came out. I was talking about 3-4 bear. And I was talking about the buck strong safety three and what you could do with this play. So one of the little tips about 3-4 bear, this specific play, when you press coverage. Um, so if I come out and I just baseline and I press coverage, most of the time, this linebacker will go in the gap. If he doesn't, you can just keep pressing until he does go in the gap. And you'll see from here, if I just run this play just like this, you're going to see you're going to get some decent um, disengages, but nothing too fancy. Uh, and so we need to do a little bit of something to the blitz to make it even better. So what I like to do is I like to baseline press coverage. And again, I'm going to press um, from, from right there. I like to blitz the um, this guy right here. I like to blitz him. And then once you press, he'll go into the gap, as you see right there. From there, all I'm going to do is I'm going to crash my defensive line to the right, and then I'm going to quarterback contain. And then what you can do, you see how this contain is here from Parks, and you see how this contain is here on the linebacker? That's what you're looking for. You're looking for that swap exchange. It's going to cause the offensive line to react a little bit. And so what we're going to do is then throw this guy right here into a middle third zone, and then I'm just going to use her right over in this, in this hip curl. And what you're going to see here is we're going to get some shooting get some shooting pressure from our defensive lineman. Um, very, very simple pressure setup, but to me, very, very effective. Now, again, when you base the line and press, you're going to need to manually move this guy. And, again, I, I just want him kind of right in this position right here. Uh, I want it so that he's going to go into the contain once those linemen swap. And you'll see right here, we're going to get that switch exchange. just like this right here. And you're gonna see that we're gonna get that shooting pressure. You see how that contain comes through? Now the nano detection is still um, effective in practice mode. You're gonna find that when you run this in games, oftentimes the nano detection is not gonna do anything to you. Um, you're gonna be able to come right, right through. So again, the setup is baseline press. You're gonna blitz the linebacker on the left side and press until you can get him in the gap. Once you get him in the gap, zone out your linebacker on the right side that's blitzing into a zone, crash your defensive line down, and quarterback contain, and you're there, and you got the switch exchange, and you're going to see these contains are going to come right through. Typically, you're going to get either some kind of B gap or A gap. As you see there, we're wanting to come through. Um, right there, we got a little bit held up. Now, sometimes in practice mode, when you run the same blitz over and over again, um, it will... Uh, it will kind of glitch out a little bit. So uh, we'll show you another uh, variety of this setup right here. Let's see if we can get that right there. And I need to get this parks right in that gap right there. Snap the ball. And you're going to see there's that zone, there's that little disengage that you're going to get from that nose guard. Um, now, typically, if they do pick up the pressure, you're going to get a disengage uh, from your nose guard as well. One of the other things that I uh, like to do, let me show you this here. So you see here, here's the pressure. And again, make sure you cut. If you crack, once you, you need to crash light in so you get that that swap exchange from that guy right there. Um, you'll see here if I just um, if I just crash my line to the left, you're not going to get the same version of pressure. You're going to see you're going to get better disengages from your nose guard. But in my opinion, you're not going to get better pressure overall. You're typically going to get better pressure uh, when you do uh, when you just crash them and do the contain. Again, we're going to press until he goes into the gap. He goes into the gap right here. Bring this guy right in this position right here. Crash your line, and 
You're going to see that zone swap exchange, and you're going to get that nice A gap or B gap disengage pressure um, from the 3 4 bear. So, again, this is a let's see concept that can be applied to several other formations. There's several other formations this uh, simple concept right here can apply to. One of the things that I want you to do um, is to understand that. This swap exchange blitzing concept is going to be the meta, I think, because of how good the disengaging um, is going to be. As you see there, we're going to get that A gap pressure once we were able to reset the line uh, a little bit. But this is very, very effective in game. Okay, very, very effective in game. And so, three, four bear again. I am working right now on updating my defensive competitive bundle guide with a three four uh, with the four six bear we've got three four bear in there we've got nickel three three five nickel three three five wide we're going to be going through the entire four six playbook so if you haven't picked that up you can that link is in the description of this video it's madden 21 competitive bundle guide it's going to give you my offense and my defense those offensive and defensive ebooks will update um, as the year goes on until we've completed all of the formations. So you're going to be able to get, you're going to get a four, six bear update. You're going to get a three, four bear update. You're going to get a nickel normal update until we've broken down every single thing that the, each playbook has to offer. Uh, it's going to turn into a pretty nice little guide for you. So if you haven't picked that up, go ahead and pick that up. Uh, it's in the description of this video, but guys, thank you for so much for watching. Again, if you're new, make sure to subscribe. But one of the thing I wanted to highlight before I take off is my Discord server. Um, Discord is basically a community communication platform. It's the best place for you to not only talk with me, but also to meet other people in our community. What I love about it is how uh, we have a whole section devoted for PS4 lab partners, Xbox One lab partners. We also have the general chatting lounge. You have some really, really cool things in that Discord. And so if you haven't already joined it, I want to encourage you, if you really want to take your game to the next level, that is the best way to do it because you're going to be surrounding yourself by better competition and you're going to be able to ask questions and get multiple perspectives. You're not just going to get my perspective. Now, again, if you want to text me a question, you can always text me. My cell phone number is at the top left of the screen, 812-216-3644, and I'd be happy to help. But I also really believe that that Discord is a great place as well. So I want, to, I want you to do both if you wouldn't mind. Um, anyways, guys, we've got a couple more videos coming for you on uh, YouTube today. So make sure you're subscribed so you can get those. And also, we will be live streaming this evening. So make sure you subscribe so you can know when we go live.